Hi readers, it's Amy from the Wood County District Public Library. I found a great book that I'd like to share with you today called Yoga Bunny. It's by Brian Rousseau. Yoga Bunny by Brian Rousseau. Here's Bunny doing all of his yoga poses. Look at all of these and they have fancy names like Thunderbolt and Reverse Warrior and a Power Lunge Reach. Oh, and look, Superhero Pose. It looks like Bunny's flying. But that's yoga. You can do it and I can do it. And Mr. Russo wrote this for my dad. He says, there's our yoga bunny. One morning, Bunny crawled out of his hole, rubbed his eyes, and let out a big yawn. This is a perfect morning to do yoga, he said. Bunny dropped his head and arms down toward his feet, coming into a forward fold. Just then, Lizard came walking by. Good morning, Lizard, said Bunny. Would you like to do yoga with me? I hate everything about mornings. I wish I could go back to bed, Lizard replied angrily. And with that, Lizard stomped away. He is grumpy. Bunny was disappointed, but he took a deep breath, placed his hands on the ground and stepped backward. He lifted his hips high in the air, coming into downward dog. His friend Fox came hurrying by. Zoom, zoom, zoom. He was moving so fast, he startled Bunny. Out of my way, Bunny, he said. I'm in a very big rush. Maybe you could take a minute and do this yoga pose with me, Bunny suggested. It might help slow you down. No thanks, replied Fox. I'd rather be in a big rush than do something so silly. And he hurried away. I wonder why he thinks that slowing down is silly. Bunny felt a little bit sad, but he took a deep breath, stood up tall, placed his hands in front of his heart, and balanced on one foot, coming into tree pose. Just then, bird flew down, landing right on Bunny's head. Hiccup! I have a bad case of the hiccup! I've tried everything to stop them, said Bird. I've never heard of a bird having hiccups. Well, Bunny said, maybe you could do this tree pose with me. It can calm you down and that might help with your hiccup. No way, Bird said. I'd rather live with these hiccups than stand on one leg. And with that, Bird flew away. Will anyone ever want to do yoga with me? Buddy wondered aloud. But then he reminded himself that doing yoga alone is better than not doing yoga at all. Just as Bunny took a deep breath, stepped back, bent his front leg, and reached his arms way up, coming into warrior pose, two little mice came walking by. What do you think he's reaching for? whispered one of the mice. I don't know, but it must be very valuable. We'd better reach for it too. And so the mice stepped back, bent their front legs, and reached their arms way up, coming into warrior pose, just like Bunny. And as they had their arms stretched way up and their eyes toward the sky, they noticed Bird flying by. wonder if Bird still has his hiccups. Oh, Bird still had the hiccups, but 
he came down to join them, pressing his wings together in front of his heart, lifting one leg up, coming into tree pose, just like Bunny and the mice. All of a sudden, they heard a loud noise. Zoom, zoom, zoom! Fox came hurrying by and saw the friends standing in a circle. And he pressed his hands to the ground, stepped back, and lifted his hips, coming into downward dog, just like bunny, the mice, and bird. Notice how these poses kind of look like their names, like this looks like a dog when he's stretching, like Fox is kind of related to a dog and he's stretching like that and the tree pose looks kind of like a tree. Bunny took a deep breath and lay down flat on his back, coming into resting pose. They're laying flat resting when Lizard came walking back and lay down just like Bunny. Bunny was so happy that his friends had joined him that he opened his mouth and let out a big oh and everyone else did the same. That can be a sort of a calming sound oh I know where I'm supposed to be, said Fox. Not so angry anymore. It's here. Thank you, Yoga Bunny. He was all in a rush, but really he just needed to be resting with his friends, doing some yoga. I am so glad that all the animals decided to slow down and do yoga with the bunny. They all felt relaxed afterward, didn't they? So in this story, um, you saw a grumpy lizard, too grumpy to do yoga, um, a fox in a hurry. He was too busy and too hurried to do yoga. There was the hiccuping bird who kind of just seemed like he didn't want to try anything new. But then the curious mice came and they started doing yoga with the bunny just to see what the bunny was doing and what it was like. And everybody else who came back by the bunny kind of got brave, didn't they? Because other people were trying it and they didn't feel alone or silly. And they thought maybe they didn't have to be in such a hurry because other people were doing this thing. And then at the end, they got to relax and they all felt closer together as friends. So that's kind of the point of yoga. Yoga is connecting. It's connecting your, your breathing to your movements. You remember in the story, the, the bunny took a deep breath and then he reached his, his arms down to the ground to go into downward dog. He was connecting his breathing to his movement. Um, it's connecting your body to where you are. So bunny did yoga outside and he could feel the grass and he could see his friends and he reached up into the sky and he could see all the air and the bird that was up there because he was connected to what was around him. And also yoga is connecting yourself to other people, right? The, all the friends, all the animals were connected by the end because they were doing this thing together. And that's what yoga can do for us, even though we're not bunnies. It can make us calm down and it can connect us to where we are. It can make us do deep breaths and it can um, connect us to our friends. And it's not hard. You, you can just, you can try it yourself. It is practice. It's not hard though. You just keep trying it and you learn something new and your body gets used to it and wants more and more. Or you can try it with your friends and you learn together and you feel connected and relaxed by the end. So at the library, we have all kinds of great books about yoga um, for older kids and for younger kids, for moms and for teachers. We have videos that you could borrow to practice your yoga and get connected. So keep reading, keep doing some missions for your Bunny's Book Club, and hopefully we'll see you soon. Bye everybody.